So the first step is download the widgets meet. Second, customize your widgets. You can choose your own photos. Um, I use photos from Pinterest, so I got to the photos of the photos. And then after edit your home screen, click the plus button and then insert the widgets of your choice. After you finish inserting all the widgets that you wanted to insert, the next thing is to customize your apps. So I made a Pinterest board and I named it Pink Icons because I choose to customize my iPad this time with a the theme of, I don't know, just pink, like girly one. And I made the list on my notes. So the first thing that I'm going to download is Safari and then Google Drive. I'm just going to save everything that I need and then I'm going to customize all the apps using shortcuts later. By the way, these photos are not mine. Credit to the rightful owner of these photos and I wanted to thank them for creating such a wonderful work and share it to everybody. After you downloaded all the icons or the pictures that you wanted to use, go to shortcuts and type open up and then choose an app that you wanted to customize. So I first customize Safari and then put the new shortcut above, insert the shortcut name, and then customize the picture and add it to your home screen. And for the whole process of customizing your app, will just repeat what you did.
And finally, after customizing all your apps, you're on the next step, which is to clear all your apps on your home screen and adjust or just edit your home screen. Okay, so the last step, the last but not the least, is to choose your wallpaper for your home screen, for your lock screen that will match your theme, of course. And I downloaded several pictures because I'm undecided that and I don't know what picture will I use that will match my pink them. So let's see. Stop looking at the things you're looking at here. Look at the unseen. God said we could do it. 